Good morning, lunatics, and welcome to another edition of Morning Java. Morning Java Alex brought to you, as always, by our good friends at the Get-Go Cafe and Market, where buffalo tenders, yes, I will always talk about buffalo tenders and ranch, but they don't cheat you on the meat either with those cheese steaks, dude. No, they do not. I mean, it's nice to see you appreciate, you know, not I, cheating on the meat also. <laughs> I can branch out, all right? Listen, I branch out. And the pirates kind of branching out not a total matt sunday awesome segue that right was, there was weak. it was weak but changes are coming right starling Marte is on the move to arizona in exchange for should pirates fans be happy about this yeah uh, malone this is someone that the pirates seriously considered drafting last year uh went with quinn Pryster instead uh it's someone that uh ben charrington and his new assistant gm steve sanders considered whenever they were running the draft up in toronto in the first round last year they both ended up passing on him, but they he said, you know, it's nice to have someone who has, you know, you have some familiar some familiarity yeah. with. So and I mean 99 miles per hour. The breaking stuff could be plus. Right now it looks like he's got two pitches. If he could develop a third, he's gonna be a major league starter. Yeah, and this is funny because it's one of those things. It's this guys, this is a total stretch, total shot in the dark. But Mike Tomlin and the Steelers love Steven Nelson as well coming out of college, and they didn't get him in the draft. But then when free agency rolled around and the opportunity presented itself, they pounced on it. And at the time, people were like, what are they thinking? What's going on here? Why would they take this guy? And then look how that panned out. He had arguably a better year than Joe Hayden, who got selected to the yep. Pro Bowl. So when you have that familiarity and you have that built-in research, I kind of like this move, man. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with taking the guy who's, you know, second or third choice for right. you right there. Because he was your second or third choice out of a list of hundreds. Right. That's fine. And uh, Piguero, you know, at shortstop right now, Charrington seems optimistic that he can continue to play shortstop or a premium position, which would really help his value. Uh, the hit tool needs to develop. He's hit real well, but everything, you know, that I've heard and read, you know, it, it's going to get better. Yeah. It can get better. It needs to get better. So and if you look at it, someone who could have a high average, he seems to have a good control of the strike zone, you know, add a little bit of pop to that mix. Yeah, we got a ball player Something here. Something can happen there. One of my favorite things about it is, like, everybody in this transition period wants to see the Pirates do things differently. They want to know that they're trying things differently. This certainly represents that, right? We're talking about high ceiling players that are completely unproven. This could be a total flop. This isn't Colin Moran and Michael Feliz exactly. as secondary pieces exactly. for Garrett Cole. No, this is we're all in. And you know what, Charrington, for all him talk, all his talking about you know player development, this is big bet on your player development right now. It's a high risk, high reward move, and you know what? It's the best way to add you know high upside players. Hey, I love it, man. If we have to, we won't give it a grade right now, but just a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I'm definitely team thumbs up what about you i'm thumbs up for nice. nothing alone that it's completely different than what huntington would have done and there we go <laughs>